What's up guys? This is Derek House from DHFTNS.com and since you guys have been liking my tiramisu recipe so much, I'm going to show you how to make my tiramisu protein pancakes. They're pretty quick, so let's get to it. The first thing you're gonna do is take out either a blender or a food processor, and the first ingredient you're gonna add into it is a fourth a cup or two ounces of unsweetened coconut milk. I always say this, but if you don't like or can't find coconut milk, you could use regular milk or any other milk substitute. And I get a lot of people asking me what model this blender is. I do post a link to it in the description below. Next, two tablespoons of cocoa powder which is a great cheap source of fiber with two grams for every 10 calories. A fourth a teaspoon of butter extract. A fourth a teaspoon of coffee extract. A fourth a teaspoon of rum extract. I usually find my extracts at Walmart, but most of my local grocery stores have them as well. If you still can't find them, you can buy them online pretty cheap. You don't use much, so they last a really long time. One scoop or 30 grams of a chocolate protein powder. Half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. One teaspoon of instant coffee. Four tablespoons or 28 grams of coconut flour. Which is also another great source of fiber with five grams for every 60 calories. Half a cup or 113 grams of fat-free cottage cheese. Six tablespoons or 92 grams of liquid egg whites, which is around two large egg whites, and one teaspoon of baking powder. Go ahead and process or blend everything together. Take out a large stovetop pan, put your burner on medium heat, and then coat your pan with some nonstick cooking spray. Once your pan heats up, pour your mix in and cook each side of your pancake for around two to three minutes. Now that our pancakes are done, we're gonna make a topping for them really quick. So take out a bowl, and the first ingredient you're gonna add into that bowl is half a container, which is 2.65 ounces, or 75 grams of a fat-free vanilla Greek yogurt. Next, four tablespoons or 60 grams of fat-free cream cheese. And if you let your cream cheese sit out for a bit, it'll soften up so it's easier to mix. And last, one tablespoon of sweetener. Mix those ingredients together until you have a frosting-like consistency. Add your frosting onto each one of your pancakes. Top them with a little cocoa powder. And there are your tiramisu protein pancakes. As you guys saw, the pancakes are done. So now I'm just gonna try a bite. So if my tiramisu protein oatmeal recipe started dating a tiramisu pie. I'm pretty sure that this would be their child. It's absolutely delicious. They're not dry at all, and all of the flavors of a tiramisu are there. As far as the calories go in the whole recipe, without the frosting, there's 399, seven grams of fat, 29 grams of carbs, 14 grams of fiber, and 55 grams of protein. As far as the calories go in the whole recipe with the frosting, there's 499, 7 grams of fat, 39 grams of carbs, 14 grams of fiber, and 70 grams of protein. So not only is this recipe just delicious, but it's low in fat and a great source of fiber. So every now and then I like to ask you guys a question. What has been your favorite recipe so far that I have done? Let me know in the comment box below. All right guys, I just wanna thank you for watching. If you like this recipe, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It motivates me to keep making these. If you haven't already subscribed and you'd like to, you can click right there on the screen coming up. 
By subscribing, you'll get an email every week telling you I upload a new video. Comments or suggestions go down below. I do try and respond to everybody. Thank you guys again for watching. I got some pancakes to finish. Stay healthy.